is this thing on? Yes, I mean, it is. Possibly. It's difficult. Okay. We're here for you. Let's struggle this Okay, here. Is that good? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Hi there. My name is Alec Wardman of the Sacrifice, and I'm from Miller South. And this is your holy book of crap. <laughs> I soaked in your love like the devil himself had drawn a bath. I only stepped in because the bubbles smell like heaven, but like bargain brand shampoo, when I tried to wash it off, it began to burn the skin. You came to me and I believed that you were holy. Every story you told about those who had ruined you, they became your scripture. I believed every hymn you sang was the cry of an angel. But most broken hallelujahs don't sing to false gods in you. You worship yourself. And I'm agnostic, though I was raised up Baptist and somewhere in that transition, you made me a follower of your sketchy revelation, the way you warped my mind and force-fed me lies in the form of midnight sky calls when my brain was too fuzzy different between reality and fantasy, rambling about how the world was against you and you had done nothing to deserve this. And as you talked about your victims, making yourself the hero, I fell right under your spell. You like to be thought of as Jesus. You say you're a man who fixes the broken and nobody recognizes your work. But to me, you come up more like the serpent who, ba who gave you the apple, snaking under my skin and crawling into my brain. You tempted me and forced the apple down my throat when you told me that nobody would believe me. I had said yes at first. You took from me my innocence so that I would love you religiously. You were a forgiving God once. Until I started to speak out and expose the church for the lies and slander it was. Everything you had spat in my face was coming back to haunt you, and you couldn't handle that. Another voice adding to the chorus of souls you had crushed. And so, just like all the ones before, you resorted to calling me Judas. And you can take twist the tail as much as you want, but I will always remember the way you caused me to bleed, and with it, painted yourself the victim for the blood-stained glass window stories in your church. I am not going to be a victim this time. I will rise up and create a religion of my own, all my followers converting to me because they live the scripture where you are their personal demons. So you can keep hiding behind stories only you can account for. Sooner or later, the truth will shine through.